Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video, we'll continue to talk about pre-processing in scikit-learn and we'll look at uh, specifically scaling sparse data in this video. So what is a sparse mat matrix and what are the two formats CSR and CSC? And we'll also look at how we can use the previously discussed method in the series to uh, scale a sparse matrix. So essentially a sparse matrix is a matrix that has lots of zeros in it. So as you can see on this slide, we have a dense matrix that's on the left hand side and then we have a sparse matrix that's on the right hand side. So this matrix has a less to no, this has no zeros but it can have zeros but those would be less number of zeros. And this has more than 50% of zeros. So we have one, two, three, four, five zeros out of nine. So this is a sparse matrix. And the reason why it is important to store a sparse matrix in a format, even a compressed format, is because it can save memory and it can also expedite the uh, uh, processing speed of an algorithm. So let's look at some of the uh, examples in which we can save these uh, in a different format. So here we have uh, CSR and CSC format. So let's look at those. For CSR, it means compressed row format and CSC is the compressed uh, column format. In the compressed row format, as you can see, uh, we uh, navigate in the sparse matrix from like this. So we go across the row and come back to the beginning of the row and go through this row then come back to the beginning of this row then go through this row. So if we uh, look at uh, the non-zero items while we traverse to the matrix, uh, the first one we have is one and that's at index zero zero and so that's this. Then the second one, we go through this and we have five. It's five as at index one, one, and so we have this. And then six, six is at index one, two, and we have this one. Then we have seven, which is at index two, zero, and therefore we have this. So uh, that's how the compressed sparse row matrix format works. The next format, let's look at compressed sparse column matrix. In this case, the way we navigate through the uh, matrix is column wise. So we go down like this, come back up, go through the next column, then go back up and then go through the next column. So uh, the first item that we see here is one and it's at index zero, zero. So we have this as index zero, this is index one, this is index two. We have zero, this is index one, this is index two. So one, zero, zero for one. Then we go down here, we have the second one is two. So the index for, uh, sorry, is in seven and index for that is two, zero. We have this and then we go back up and then here we see five and for five index is one, one. So that's what we have. And then finally we have six, which is at index one, two. So this is the last one. So that's uh, how the sparse matrix uh, can be used in a format such as CSR or CSC for processing in algorithms uh, because they take up a lot lesser space. Now, if we look into the other aspect of centering, so do we center a sparse matrix? And the answer is it depends uh, generally uh, if you want to preserve the uh, structure, sparse structure of a matrix, uh, you probably don't want to do the centering part because uh, as you can see here in the center, if we are doing mean centering, uh, that is if we are subtracting each value from the mean of that value. And if this value is zero, and when we subtract the mean from this, then what we are going to get in the output is a negative mean. And that's what we see in this particular uh, matrix right there, where the zeros are now replaced by two point, minus 
in all the places in entire matrix so that if that is not desirable uh, this method of centering should be avoided whenever uh, uh, scaling this uh, type of sparse data set and we can do that using the standard scalar so in standard scalar we can specify with mean is equal to false and by doing that in the output then we see that the zeros are preserved in the matrix and the data is also scaled as we see here similarly we can also use the max app scalar as you can see here the zeros are again preserved in the output matrix and we also have the scale part of that data so in uh, i hope you got an intuition about what is sparse data what is sparse matrix and how it compares with a dense matrix and we can also get a fraction or sparsity of our data set that's basically the percent of percentage of how many uh, positions in that matrix are zeros or nns or empties uh, let's get into jupyter notebook now and look at how some of this can be implemented in python Here in Jupyter Notebook, I've imported two libraries, NumPy and sklearn, and also imported the module pre-processing from sklearn. And then these are the versions of uh, Python, NumPy, and sklearn that I'm using. Now for data set, I've created this array, three by three array that we also had in the slides. And this is a sparse matrix because it has a bunch of zeros in it. Now, I uh, will go ahead and import another library from scipy import sparse and the reason why we are importing this is because we are going to convert this extrain uh, matrix into a compressed format so to do that uh, let's first try the csr format for this x uh, train underscore csr now for this one the method is we need to type sparse dot csr underscore matrix and uh, within parenthesis we specify x underscore train now if we print x underscore train underscore csr then this is the uh, compressed uh, sparse row matrix format now similar to row matrix we can use the column matrix as well so we'll save this as csc and here we can see that we have the compressed column matrix format also created now let's look at different ways in which we can work with uh, the sparse data set so the first method we'll look at is the max uh, apps scale max abs scale and for this, we'll use the scalar is equal to pre-processing dot uh, max apps scale uh, and then within a scalar and then dot fit and here we have x underscore train. So let me put an R there. So now here, once we have the scalar, we can go ahead and output the transform matrix so x train so this is uh, scaled is equal to scalar dot transform and here we specify the x train so once we have these we can now print it x underscore train underscore scaled uh, sorry scaled and as you can see we have preserved the zeros in the matrix output matrix and we'll save the scaled data right there. Now, in addition to using uh, the format, this in this we use the regular format, it was not a compressed format, but now we can use a compressed format as well. So let's use uh, the CSR format here, and the uh, max app scalar can take that uh, format. So for CSR, and then we'll also or transform the CSR form uh, for transform also we'll input the CSR format as well now when we run this we 
see that we get the compressed form out and it is also uh, scaled and here we see that these numbers are so find one pore is at index zero zero and then other values follow as well now similar to this we can also use the column so instead of csr i substitute by csc and then again for as an input for the transform uh, we'll put csc and we see a similar output uh, you can note here that when we are compressing we are removing all the zeros in the format from the matrix uh, when we are storing it so that's why we do not see any zeros here in the output in the in case of the compressed format now similar to this we can also use the another method that we have already seen which is the standard scalar method and with that method we can save this in it that method can take the compressed format as well so let's let's try how that works so here we have standard scalar so the first method we'll try is scalar is equal to pre processing processing dot standard scalar and here here we need to specify width underscore mean is equal to false and that would avoid the centering part now after this we can specify the fit underscore a uh, fit uh, x underscore train and then we can output the values for the transformed variable so x underscore train underscore scaled is equal to scalar dot transform and here we'll specify x underscore train now we can print this x underscore train underscore scaled and as you can see we have preserved the zeros in the output file now in addition to uh, accepting the regular uh, matrix format it can also accept the compressed format so let's specify in the csr here so this is the compressed format and again as the input to transform we'll specify csr and as you can see in the output in a moment uh, so here we see the compressed format works with the standard scalar as well and we can also run the csc as well and should get a similar result once we and we get the same result so that was uh, how we can use uh, either max app scalar or standard scalar with the sparse sparse data set so both of these methods can accept uh, the regular format of a sparse matrix or they can accept the Con compressed uh, format such as CSR or CSC uh, a, in for transforming. I hope in this video you learned what is a sparse matrix, how we can scale it using different methods. In next video, we'll continue this discussion on pre-processing and look at some other aspects. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you.